Welcome to the Too Many Poops playthrough video. In this, we're gonna go through the first turn and play a couple of rounds against each other so you can see what gameplay is like. So to start, I will be going first. Uh, in my hand, I have four cards. The very first thing you're gonna do at the start of your turn is draw until you have six cards in your hand. Now you can draw from any of the face-up cards here in the pet shop or the top card of either deck. So to start, I'm gonna pick up Pierogi, put him in my hand, and then I get one more draw, I'll take this scoop card. Once you have your hand of six cards, you have to play a cat card. Now you can play it anywhere you want. You can play it in your own home, you can play it directly into your opponent's home, or you can play it directly into the area over here we reserved called the wild. In this case, I'm gonna to choose to play Duder into my own home. Once you've played your cat card, you can play up to two item cards. So I'm gonna to choose to lure Waffle out of my opponent's home. This will now take him out into the area that we reserved, the wild. And then I will choose to give a mystery poop to my opponent as well. This is gonna have them need to add one additional poop to their litter box on each turn. Once you've played all of your cards, you simply tabulate the poops you need to add to your litter box. Every cat creates one poop, so in this case I have two cats in my home. I'll grab two pooples and add them to my litter box. Then you simply replenish the pet shop for your opponent, and they can take their turn. Now they're gonna do the same thing, drawing until they have six cards in their hand, and then playing one cat card and up to two item cards. So they're playing Zoe into their home. And they're playing a swap card. So they're choosing to swap Zoe with Emma here. So that means Zoe is now in my home. Now, this is a natural rivalry. So both cards will flip over. They won't be worth any points, but they'll still poop on my turn. And now they're playing a donate card to give themselves Penny from the pet shop into their home. And again, they'll tabulate the amount of poops they get. Now in this case, they have one for each cat, but they also have a mystery poop card, which will add an additional poop on their turn. And then I'll replenish the pet store area, and the turn gets passed back to me. So again, three cards. I get to draw up to three more. In this case, I'm gonna get this lure card, because I really wanna break up this rivalry in my home and I'll draw Biscuit, because I think that's a good cat for me to have as well. And then I will draw a random item card. Okay, so I'll begin by playing my lure card, and I will lure Duder out of my own home, which will then allow me to play Biscuit into my own home. Now Zoe is no longer with its rival, so you flip it back over, and I'm beginning to create my color set. I have one more card I can play. I'll choose to play a scoop card. This will allow me to remove two poops out of my litter bin. And then tabulate your poops again. Two cats, two more coming back in. Replenish the pet store. And the turn order continues like this back and forth until one player has 10 or more poops in their litter box and is pooped out, or someone has 10 points of cats in their home. Now the way the points work, as far as color sets go, here I have two of the same color set. Normally a cat is worth one point apiece. If you have cats in the color set together or in a litter, you double the points. So here, two points of cats would actually be doubled to four. And my opponent, because he has a rainbow cat, is actually at four points as well, because he can choose to have Emma count towards Penny's litter. 